What to do, YouTube? Last night there was a report where the Houston Texans put out they were willing to give the Miami Dolphins the Davion Clowney and a first round pick for Lermy Tunsil. And the Miami Dolphins supposedly they 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 want something more than just the first round pick. So I'm guessing that will probably include a second round pick as well, if, just for the sake of argument, possibly two first round picks. Who knows? When it comes down to it, we have nothing to talk about. Like <laughs> we're not don't let don't let the Houston Texans break us here. Like this is, is this there's just nothing to sit here and talk about. Lermy Tunsil, he is the a cornerstone of this Miami Dolphins team if we decide to decide to extend him next year for the next six years. He's arguably a top three tack, left tackle in this league. And due to the history of the Miami Dolphins and their offensive line, there should be no reason at all that we should be sitting back and entertaining this. Let me give you a couple of examples. Since we lost Jake Long, had Brian McKinney in the lineup, had Tyson Claybo in the lineup, had Brandon Albert frail, frail ass in the lineup, uh, Jawan James was over there, Jason Fox, and now we have and now we have Lermy Tunsil. Now here, like this is like this. Possibly we would probably have keep this offer on consider the offer if we would have kept Jawan James. I felt like that again. We were talking about this yesterday during the live stream. Appreciate everybody that came out to the live stream yesterday before the Saints game. Talked about this during the live stream yesterday. I feel like if we was if we kept Jawan James, then this would be this would be a lot easier for us to swallow because we have Jawan James on the right side. He's versatile enough to play on that left side, but not exactly the greatest on the left side, but he can actually play. But you ended up getting rid of him. So now you're sitting back in a dilemma where you have one good left tackle on the Miami Dolphins offensive line, and that's Lermy Tunsil. And like I said, top three offense left tackle in the league. Like that's just not gonna fly. But uh Right now, currently, the Miami Dolphins have twenty six million dollars in cap space right now. So if they was if they was to pull the trigger on this trade, like I said, like I said earlier in the previous videos, Jadavion Clowney would have to come in and sign this tender. Now here's the thing with the tender. Now there's no guarantee that the Miami Dolphins could sign the Jadavion Clowney long term if he, if if we pull the trigger on this trade after he signs the tender. Like it's already been stated that. Davion Clowney wants to be prefers excuse me prefers to play with the Seattle Seahawks or the Philadelphia Eagles. Now we can go back and forth about he's intrigued by Miami or if, if, if not is not exactly stated. But really, is that something that we really want to roll the dice and take the chance on? Or the fact that you just basically gave away Lermy Tunsil and you got an extra first round, uh, extra first round pick and uh, possibly two more other uh, high low draft picks. Hell no. Hell no. Like I said, Ben, we they they try to they try to break us. They literally trying to break us, but we don't please, boy, please don't break. Please don't break. And like my whole my whole my whole thing is with this though, because we I was discussing this on, on TD Fans Talk live stream last night. If you're not subscribed to him already, be sure to subscribe to his his channel. He's doing big things, man. Literally doing big things. Like the discussion, I remember early on in the day yesterday, it was me, me 305, and, and Magic had this discussion about Jadavion Clowney and how Steven, what Steven Ross said after he got rid of Adam Gase. I'm going to emphasize this. Ross said he wanted to build through the draft and not overpay in free agency. Wouldn't wouldn't Jadavion Clowney be considered as overpaying a player in free agency? We wanted to build through the draft. Look, I'm not I'm not on board with that philosophy as far as building through the draft. I feel like you need to find a happy medium when it comes down to building through the draft and going in free agency and getting a, 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 a vocal piece that you may possibly need to put you over the hump. But I, 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 that's 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 what he stated. That's what he stated. And by you going out and getting a Jadavion, trading for a Jadavion Clowney, that totally goes against what you said. That totally goes against what you said. And to be quite honest with you, if we was to end up making this trade, I feel like offensive linemen are a lot harder to come by than a defense than a than a than a pass rusher excuse me i don't want to i don't want to refer to davion clowney as a pass rusher because it's been clarified to me people have corrected me over the past several days that davion clowney is not just a pass rusher he's great in run defense he's great in coverage so 
he he he's good. He's basically good at everything. And I feel like that's one of the biggest the biggest reasons why he people like well Brian Flores likes the Davion Clowney so much. He's like the ideal fit in the Brian Flores defense. But hey, when it comes down to it, man, you just gonna have to swallow your pride on this one. And which leads me into my next point. Because yesterday there was a report out there that the Miami Dolphins players were going to revolt. If y'all don't know what the word revolt means, it means rebel. Not exactly sure what what exactly how they're planning on rebelling against the Miami Dolphins. But like, if you already lose your... when, when if, if your players are coming out and saying they're going to revolt for you trying to trade a cornerstone of this Miami Dolphins team, and you didn't even coach your first nfl game yet that's a problem and for those who sat back and was talking about oh, how none of the players respected adam gaze it's the exact same thing it is literally the exact same thing when you sit back and look at it man and another thing man like i'm just sitting here thinking about it like yo like we have yet to see this start and defense play. To be quite honest with you, I don't even know what the defense looks like right now because I haven't seen I haven't seen no consistency along the starters for me to get a clear idea of what's going on on the defense. Who died and said that we were going to end up being a top ten? The defense was done. Like we have nothing, nothing else to add to this defense. We like literally we was like almost dead last in almost every single defensive category last year. Pump the brakes on on this whole situation all this whole situation about the Miami Dolphins defense ended up might may end up being a top 10 defense can we can we can we watch the first let's say can we can we get to at least the end of the season and reevaluate this situation before we decide we want to start chopping at the bit and start talking about how the Miami Dolphins defense is that good that's enough like if that leads into another thing with Jadavion Clown. If he was to add him, there may be another piece that we possibly need. And like I said, it all comes back down to the whole Jawan James thing, man. Like if you would just decide if you wanted to keep Jawan James, then okay, maybe we may entertain this whole idea of trading for Jadavion Clown because you still have uh Jawan James on the other side is versus another play both sides, but you didn't. <laughs> but you didn't. So now you in a predicament now where Larry Tunsil is there. You want to end up trading him, and then we end up having nothing to show for it. But again, man, there's 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 nothing to talk about here when it comes down to trading Larry Tunsil. The man is not for sale. I don't care for how many draft picks. Like we 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 went through. We we us Miami Dolphins fans should know off the top of our heads. Like how how long has it been since we actually had uh, uh, st- some stability at the left tackle position? It's been a long time, man. It's literally been a long time. And finally, finally, we want to trade him. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One DeVore. I'm up out of here.